Hi, I'm Tom Uskep with GreensOrb.com, and we're up in Charlotte, North Carolina today. We're excited to be here announcing our new industrial partnership on the distribution of our products together with RSC Chemical Solutions. And uh, I'm joined today by George Cook, who's on the product management side with the Biosolutions Business Unit. And George, I know you're just about as excited about this as we are. Tom, we're very excited about the representing your product out in the field, coupled with our Readily biodegradable product line. We feel like this offers our customers the ultimate solution to cleaning up a spill should it occur with one of our products. Tell us a little bit more about your product. Yeah, I'd love to, George. Uh, what we'd first like to do is just kind of talk a little bit about Greens Orb and you know the attributes of the product, and, and we're going to do a comparison against what most other people use in the industry, and we'll, so we'll get started with that. Now, moving on, we'd like to show you the uh, two products up close, so you can get a really good view of the differences between the two. Over here in this particular tray is the crushed clay or cat litter and you'll notice right away that it's a light colored uh, particle. You'll also notice that it has multiple shapes and sizes and there are lots of fines mixed in with large products. Also very dusty type of product and that's one thing that our customers are saying that they're trying to move away from dusty products. In fact, many of the people say that uh, the dust is really the only thing that uh, does any type of drying action. But really, because the product is very dense, any liquid oil or spill tends to just only coat the outside of the particle because it's very hard and dense. It doesn't permeate at all. Over here in this particular tray is the Greensword product. And you'll notice right away that it looks a lot different than the crushed clay. It's almost dustless and virtually dust-free. And it's always going to be the same uniform shape color and particleization. It's a ceramic particulate and first of all you'll notice because it's a smaller size it actually has 30 percent greater surface area than the larger particles. The other thing is that it has uh, a lot of nooks and crannies and uh, crevices where the liquid comes into the inner structure of the particle and binds with it. So now we're going to move on to the oil uh, demonstration. We're going to put some Envirologics in there and you're going to see how they work differently. All right, now for the fun part. We're going to add some 122 series hydraulic fluid into both. We've measured out an equal amount of the oil, and so we're just going to add that in here to the, to the Greens Orb tray. And then we're going to do the same thing, same amount to the, uh, to the crushed clay tray. And so what we're going to do is just demonstrate how these two uh, products work. As you can see, Right away, um, you'll notice that the crushed clay product is uh, not really absorbing. Uh, it's very wet in the bottom of the uh, of the tray here, and all we're doing, uh, even by spreading out the uh, crushed clay and having it come into contact with more of the oil, you can just see that it's just getting more and more wet. All of the particles are. It's not really absorbing. Um, the oil and by contrast over here you know the greens orb tray you can see that the greens orb has turned a darker shade of, of um, color a dark brown and you can tell that that means that it's working um, and what we're doing here is simply what our instructions on our packaging says is just to cover every spill with greens orb an adequate amount and uh, just mix it in. And don't be worried if you use too much Greens Orb because the great thing about Greens Orb is that you'll be able to reuse it on another spill. And that's what we're kind of experiencing right now is that, you know, first thing you'll notice is that this product is already working much differently than the, than the crushed clay product because the bottom of the pan is already dry. And I'm looking over here at the other pan, the other tray with the crushed clay, and it's still wet. And the more that you mix the Greens Orb in with the, with the oil, the drier it's going to get. And it's going to continue to dry and absorb as it draws the oil further and further inside the particle structure. So I think the interesting thing here is that the pan is already dry and you can see that it's freely moving around. It's not clumpy. But you can see that there are a lot of tan particles remaining, which means that this Greens Orb really isn't used up hardly at all and you could take it and put it back in another bucket and come back and reuse it on another spill. Now going back to the crushed clay, you can see that the, the bottom of the pan is still wet and that most of the, the particles that have come into contact 
are still wet. I mean, it does look like there's some dry particles uh, around here, but that's just an example of how, you know, it just doesn't seem to do any absorbing. So, to emphasize the point, we can take the fact that the greensorb here is still is dry and has absorbed all of this and what we can do to further clean the, uh, the oil dry or the uh, crushed clay type product here is that we'll just mix in the greensorb with the, with the crushed clay here and you can see already that the, that the greensorb pan is, is bone dry. We'll just leave that over here. And um, what we'll do now is we'll just start to mix the greensorb in with the crushed clay or cat litter. I mean, it's sold under many, many different brands. I mentioned one brand there just a second ago. But um, I think everybody's been using this type of product for many, many years. And even um, as we have just introduced the greensorb into the same um, tray as the crushed clay, you can see that already it's just having an action of drying the crushed clay to the point where it's making the particles more white, the crushed clay particles. It's taking the oil right off of the surface of the crushed clay and absorbing it further. And now the bottom of the pan is dry and all of the material is actually drier and just freely moving around. And frankly, there's still quite a few uh, tan particles in here. You could probably use this uh, greensorb and uh, together with the crushed clay to absorb more of a spill we could actually pour some more oil and have it go up further because the greensorb is just a more efficient product and you'll find that you don't have to go back and use a degreaser like if you still had the crushed clay in here you'd have to go back and use a degreaser maybe a mop but now it's just a simple uh, broom and uh, dustpan and, and boom, you're done. And so it really saves a lot of time to use greens or over using other competing products. So that's our demonstration today on 122 series. Well, George, we just finished uh, demonstrating how greens or works on the EnviroLogix uh, 122 series. And uh, I think it did a pretty good job, you know, compared to the other product that most other customers are using today in the shop, the crushed clay kind of product. And uh, what were your thoughts? I agree, Tom. I think the product outperformed the other product uh, quite a bit. Another part I like about the Greensorb is the fact that it can be reused to clean up other spills, not just a one-time uh, application. A variety of spills, too, such as diesel fuel, antifreeze, brake fluid, any type of uh, liquid that spill you might have in a shop area. Very impressive. Yeah, we couldn't agree more. And, and in fact, we're just really excited about the, the new industrial distribution partnership with RSC Chemical Solutions. And I think that the two products, the Greensorb and the, the biodegradable hydraulic fluids, really are going to work well in concert. And, and that's why we wanted to take time and make this video today to, to share that with RSC customer base. And, and uh, just, again, uh, happy to be here today up at your headquarters. And, uh, we want to thank you all for watching uh, Greensorb TV, and we'll see you next time.